Hi guys, this is Eddie from Food for Thought. Um, I've been asked on many occasions, whether it's people out and about, you know, that I've met at meetings and um, online or whatever, that's a case of what's, what's in my pouch on this side. And this is my EDC. So I want to know, you know, what do you carry on your EDC? You know, I'm going to just take it apart. It'll probably be, I don't know, 10 minutes to go through this. Um, there's actually quite a lot in this little pouch. Um, survival kit and all that kind of stuff but just denise. so let's go go inside it's about three degrees out so it's cold well it's not cold i like this kind of weather but i've got plenty of insulation so let's go inside and we'll talk about it okay see you in there <laughs> all right guys um back inside um, I'm going to show you what's in here. I'm just having a cup of tea. I like my tea. So, um, my normal, I talk about if anybody ever asks what's in the pouch, it's wallet, cards, phone, pen, and that's about it. And most people go, alright. So, my, this part, got a snap clip here. And this, this pouch here is where my phone would go. But I'm recording with my phone, so you can't see that. But it's big enough that I've got the Galaxy Note 4, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, and that will fit in there. So it's a big phone, so that easily fits in there. Um, this strap, you can actually cinch this down. So the, you can go right down, right little. So you can put, you know, probably an iPad, iPod, you know, any of the smaller Samsungs, um, like the 7 or whatever, as long as you don't want them on fire on your hip. Um, little area for pen. I always carry a pen. And that's what's on the outside of it. Um, this, is, this is expandable, so you can probably get, you know, if you want, a notebook. You know, if you want a small notebook. Because um, it, it be got um, elastic on there so this is this is my EDC so this is what I carry every day so it's my phone it's in there um, I never have a problem with it the only problem because I've got a stylus at the bottom of the pen so at the bottom of the phone that I can write with but that sometimes falls out of there um, if I haven't put it in the pen back in properly that'll that will fall out that's the only problem with that so what else um, as everybody tells my wallet so it's an aluminum wallet, so it's stop, supposed to stop all these e, uh, card readers and stuff like that. Whether it does or not, I don't know. But, hey, I got one just in the off chance. Um, at the front of that, I've got my insurance for my two cars. And that's the only thing in that pocket. But that pocket is actually very large. So I don't want this to be overly heavy because it's an everyday carry so I don't want my pants dragging down at my knees because I'm weighing you know like 10 pounds you know it weighs about a pound um, so that's what everybody sees is a phone pen and the wallet nobody ever really pays much attention to what's in the back because I never tell anybody but you guys are going to get to see so in the back my Les Stroud um, Camillus, I can't remember which one, I think it's the Desert or something like that. Um, but it's my Les Stroud. I've done a um, quick review on that ages ago, like two years ago. But I love this knife. Very, very sharp. It keeps a razor sharp edge. Um, I even use this to, to um, harvest my rabbits now because it's got a great point to be able to get through the skin and a razor sharp to get up on it. Um, plus, obviously, it's I've got you know, fire steel. So if I need it, I got fire and a blade. So that's one thing. Then which is just opened on me. That's my actual EDC kit as such, my little survival kit. Little container I got off on online. Um inside of here in I got my gloves, 
So I've got my gloves for first aid, if I need to do first aid on anybody, and a mouth shield. This is the Red Cross um, from the Red Cross first aid kit. I had my um, first aid course a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and this was a part of the, the kit that they gave you. So that gets rolled up into my kit, my EDC. So far, right, this I'm just putting aside, but there is more in there. Um, little pill bottle in the pill bottle. If I open it up, it's actually um, petroleum based fire um, fire tinder. So obviously the steel you can light that. So knife sharpener is just a, a small block sharpener, um, stone, dry stone, tiny flashlight be able to see if it works there you go tiny flashlight so you got to see illumination um, one safety pin probably more in here a few fishing hooks water purifiers for enough for a liter of water I do not have a bag. That's one thing I should put in is just a, you know, a Ziploc bag type thing. I don't have that in here. Uh, obviously, ooh, batteries are running on it. Oh, there it goes. Another flashlight. So two is one, one is none. Everybody knows that. Um, small survival whistle. Hacksaw blade. Just for notching. Obviously, you're not going to cut down anything like that. Bits for notching if you need it. Another fire steel to fishing line for the hooks. Um, inside here are two small birthday candles. If I can get it open, oh, you see it. I'll have to redo the tin foil to get it done. I just want to do this as quickly. So you got um, candle because um, if anybody's read the. Um, um, SAS Survival Guide by um, Lofty Wiseman. Um, he always said if you light a match, light a candle. Because obviously this will last longer than a match. So if you strike a match, get this lit, this can light a tinder bundle. Blood out. This is a, just a drinking straw, which is sealed at both ends. And inside that is um, cotton wool soaked in Vaseline or petroleum jelly. So another petroleum based fire tinder. If you don't take this part easy enough, you can actually, if you spread that open and then put the petroleum, the stuff on there, it burns longer because obviously the petroleum jelly is not going to just melt and drip out into the ground. So it'll light, last a lot longer. Okay, and um, another fire steel. So that's three fire steels I've got. So I've got two, you know, three uh, fire steels, in case I ever obviously lose the, the, this kit. Then I've got one on the knife, and vice versa, if I lose the knife, I've got... Um, tip it out. Got another small um, safety pin, very, very small one. Two, oh, I can, they're split shot fishing weights. For the fishing kit so you got the, the last part of the it's empty is the credit card knife um, you guys have probably seen these around you know they cost about five six dollars or something like that, ten bucks whatever um, thin is a credit card obviously it's designed to go into a wallet this is you know steel carbon steel or whatever I don't know probably cheap cheap steel and it just folds around the back part folds there, fold that credit card part over, and that's it. So it's got a nice edge on it, I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's got a nice edge on it. Um, so that will easily cut and poke, and if you if you need to, you know, make a hole, drill a hole, you know. But that's what's in the box. So the box is in the bag. Um, what else is in here? 
Um, I've got my first aid certificate. Another one. That's an old one. I've had that probably for about four or five years. This one was still in the bag, sealed. My CAA membership. Credit card. Uh, that's a preloaded credit card. It's not one of these, um, you know, ones you get from bank, I just, actually from the, the post office, I actually can load that. Um, so it's not one that can, has credit on it. Fishing license, um, my YMCA card, Timmy's card, got me to get the tea. I got um, 20 something feet, 24 feet of uh, 220 power cord. This is not the uh, 550. This is a lot thinner, um, and this is the um, a needle that you can buy online. They just you you melt the end. Let, let me do this. So you melt the tip of the um, the power cord, and this end. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Probably not because it's going to be, but that's got a thread on it. So you just basically you put melt it. And then you put your thread onto it and then just spin it in and it tightens up. So instead of trying to, if you want to tie something up, it makes it so much easier to virtually sew. You can put up shelters and stuff like that in seconds because of this thing. It's great. Um, box cutter, again. Just want to be able to you know you know use a blade, small box cutter. Probably don't need that since I've got so many knives on it in here. And the last thing that's in here is my Swiss Army knife, Victory Knox. This is years old. Um, you can probably see it there. The actual logo's been rubbed off, but um, you know it's just a normal sort of Victory Knox. Love this. Love this. Super sharp. Um, that's in the bottom because if I need to get this out I'm probably doing something so I've got about four knives in here probably people don't know many things I carry so and that's what's um, all on my hip so that's my EDC um, I try to make it as quick as possible with the amount of stuff that's in here it's gonna take me forever to pack it up again but I've had a few questions on what is it you carry so that's what I carry as long as I've got this um, I'm pretty golden on doing an awful lot of stuff. Obviously, the only thing I can't carry is a shelter, but I've got everything else that I need um, that's in here. Um, oh, actually, maybe not the last thing that's in here. I know that I did have. Where is. Oh, there you go. I knew I had this in here. I was thinking one thing's left. A lens. Um, so I would say if it's a sunny day, I don't need to use my resources of fuel. I can just use the um, blinds to start a fire. Yay! Or see anything, because I'm as blind as a bat. Well, I'm close up. So if I really need to be able to see something, first aid, take out, um, you know, if I got a sliver, or if I need to be able to see anything, you know, a sting, or whatever, then if I need to, I can actually check it out with a, this. So it can actually be with first aid as well as lighting it. So a lot of people think it's just lighting fires. It's not obviously. That's what you use them for. So there's my EDC. Carried on my belt all the time. If you go back and check all my videos, you'll see it's on my hip. It's not I'm making this up. Um, this is what I carry every day. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye for now.